the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'll sell the fire! Jake Larkin was on trial for robbery and murder. The principal witness was Sally Martin. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Order! Order in this court! Now, Sally, just for the sake of the records of this trial, how long have you been working for Banker Thompson? Two and a half years, ever since Father died. And you were in the bank on the morning of June 15th? Yes, Judge. All right. Now, go on and tell just what happened. Don't worry about a lot of legal phrasing. Just tell it in your own words. Well, Hank Porter opened up at the usual time. I arrived at the bank about ten minutes later... Then Mr. Thompson came in. Uh, what time was that? The usual time, 9.30. Mr. Thompson and I always go over the accounts the first thing in the morning. I followed him into his office at the rear of the bank, as usual, That and... office is closed off from the rest of the bank. Yes, Judge. So Hank was alone while you and Thompson were going over the books. That's right. All right, Sally. Go on. Mr. Thompson was calling off a column of figures to me. Fifty dollars. I was checking them against the ledger entries... We didn't hear anything unusual until Hank yelled, and then... That's Hank. A shot. Come on, Sally. I wonder what's happened. Get him! There he goes. Stop, thief! You won't get me! Order! Order in the court. Quiet. Go on, Sally. The thief had worn a bandana over his face, but Hank had managed to pull it away in the struggle. So you got a look at the face of the thief? Yes. He had a horse outside and he got away. Hank died within a couple of minutes. Mr. Thompson knew that I liked to draw pictures, and, and he knew that I'd seen the killer, so he told me to sit right down and draw the face of that, that beast as well as I could. And you drew it from memory? Yes. Is this the picture you drew? Yes, Judge Blake. I'll enter this sketch as evidence. Now, uh, Sally, do you see the murderer in court? Yes, I do. He's sitting right there. I told you. Order. Order in court. The 
evidence against Jake Larkin was complete. A verdict of guilty was found on the first ballot. Without further delay, Judge Blake well, passed sentence on the evil-faced, glowering murderer. This time murder. you are to be hanged from the neck until death. You! May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Well, I told you, that's a good <coughs> Court's adjourned. Uh, hold your seats until the prisoner's been removed. Oh, Sally, I want to see you in my office. Sit right down there, Sally. I suppose you wonder why I want to talk to you. Did I do something wrong at the trial, Judge Blake? Oh, you did fine. Your testimony went a long way toward convicting Jake Larkin. Oh, he'd have been found guilty anyway. The stolen money was in his saddlebags, and besides, ba Banker Thompson identified but him. But you deserve the credit for his capture. It was the sketch you drew that did the trick. Oh, that. But Sally, you have a lot of talent. You should develop it. You could become a great artist. <laughs> I don't have much time for painting. I have to leave our little farm early in the morning to get to work. and well, It's always so late when I get home. You'd that... have ample time if you didn't have to work. Of course, but... Well, Banker Thompson wants to make it possible for you to spend your time painting. But I... He asked me to give you this... this bank book. Oh. The money is placed in your account in the bank. You can draw it as you need it to support your mother and yourself. Oh, but this... This is too much. A small fraction of what you saved for Banker Thompson. This... This means I can paint. And... Paint? That's it, Sally. Let the whole world see what this part of America is like. Paint pictures of the West. Say, Judge, I... Oh. Come in, Sheriff. Come in. What is it? I didn't know Miss Sally was here. Shall I leave? No, no. Maybe it's just as well for you to hear what he got to say. What is it? It's about Jake Larkin. He figures that Miss Sally's to blame for his trouble. He wouldn't have been caught if she hadn't drawn that picture. What about it? He vows to get square. How does he expect to accomplish that? He says the law won't hold him. He'll be held all right. No one can break out of the jail at Harper City. And that's where he'll be held until the day of his execution. Then I just thought I'd tell you. Miss Sally and her ma live in a pretty isolated valley over there near Summit Mountain. If Jake Larkin escapes... Oh, uh, have no... your... Deputy started for Harper City? Yep. They're taking Jake through Grant Pass. That's the shortest route to Harper City. He'll be in jail by tomorrow night. During the first part of the trip to Harper City, the sheriff's deputies took every precaution with their prisoner. They made frequent inspections of the ropes that held his hands. When they hauled it for food, they made sure that the condemned man had no chance to jump them while his hands were free so he might eat. When they camped by the trail for the night, they took turns standing guard. Jake Larkin gave the deputies no trouble. He was quiet, seemingly quite willing to make their task as easy as possible. Larkin's tractable manner was disarming. He intended it to be disarming. He saw that the deputies' vigilance had relaxed toward noon of the second day on the trail. Joe, might as well rain up here and fix some grub for lunch. Good idea. Oh, 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 oh. Steady. They're in the narrow, rocky, desolate canyon known as Grant's Pass. We'll help you off that horse, Larkin. Uh, thanks. Throw your leg over the side and slide down. Uh, right. I'll see you don't fall on these rocks. Uh, there. It ain't so easy with your hands tied behind. On time, Joe. I'll break out the grub. Yeah. You fellas sure give a man fair treatment. Downright fair. That's because you ain't made trouble for us, Jake. Stand still so as I can untie you. If you'd been cantankers to handle, you'd have found yourself in the hands of the cussedest, meanest pair of deputies you ever saw. I still say you've been mighty fair with me. Hold still so as I can get these knots. Lots of deputies wouldn't have bothered to feed a man that's condemned to hang. Maybe not. Lots of deputies wouldn't give a man like me a split-second chance to snatch their guns like this. Hey, go! Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'll show you, you... And for good measure. The gunfire split the silent air and rang through the canyon. Three horsemen heard the shooting. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed. We'll see what that is. Come on, Silver. Get on, Pico! <laughs> Thank you. 
Jake Larkin, standing by the falling, fallen deputies, heard the approaching hoofbeats. He acted quickly and wisely. When the masked man and his friends drew up, the killer was ready for them. A deputy sheriff's badge pinned to his shirt. Who's the... Oh, oh, who's got... oh, 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 you're covered. Oh, fella. So none of you make a fast move. That is big fella. We heard the gunplay. I drilled one outlaw, and I'm ready to drill another. You're a deputy? You see my badge, don't you? Oh, yes. Me and my partner were taking the condemned man to the jail in Harper City. He untied his hands so as he could eat. He snatched my partner's gun and fired. I got him before he could turn on me. Oh, I see. So far, stranger, I got nothing against you except the fact that you wear a mask. If you and those partners of yours are smart, you'll keep going before I decide to take you in on suspicion. But, Deputy, won't you want some help with, uh, with those two? From you? No. I'll go on to Harper City and report. Then come back with a coroner. Now, shove on. Very well. City boy. Can we go on, Kimasabi? Yes, Tonto. Come on. Uh, just a minute. Well? Uh, where are you heading? We're going over Summit Mountain. Is there anything we can do for you? Any messages? No, or? I just wondered, that's all. I get going. Come on, boy. Get, get him up. Come <laughs> The Lone Ranger and his friends rode on, little suspecting that the man who wore the lawman's badge was in reality Jake Larkin, three times a killer. That night, while the masked man and his friends were camped on Summit Mountain, the stillness was shattered by a landslide. Great masses of dirt, shale, rock, and huge boulders crashed down the mountainside with ever-increasing force. Sally Martin drove up the Summit Mountain Trail the following afternoon to paint views of the landslide. She reined up where the trail was blocked and unloaded her light canvas-covered wagon. She set up the easel and sketched the scene in charcoal. Then, as she prepared to capture the brilliant colors of the red glow of sunset, three horsemen came down the side of the mountain. Hey, be careful. You'll spoil everything. Take it easy, Silver. Watch it, Dan. The shale is treacherous. Steady, Victor. Steady, boy. Do be careful. Don't start another slide. You'll spoil my picture. Couldn't you see me here? Look where you... Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, you're mad. We didn't see you until we were nearly to the trail. Oh, golly. You're an artist. Yes, we, but... Uh, we couldn't change our course. Footing was too treacherous. Ah, horse had plenty of trouble on trail. I hope none of your equipment was damaged by the stones we dislodged. No, I, I guess not. But you're starting me. I'm sorry. In fact, I... I guess I'm still... Now, please don't be frightened because I wear a mask. There's something about your manner, the way you talk, that compensates for the mask. Did our arrival frighten you to such an extent that you must stop painting? Well, I'm sorry. If so, you might square things by helping me put this equipment in the wagon. Glad to, man. I'll help. The uh, stool and easel go in the back of the wagon. I'll put them away. Does this sketch go in back? No, that goes on the seat. You can put it on top of the other sketches. I can't understand why a man like you wears a mask. It's a long story. Those others were in town. I picked them up to take home. I, I uh, recognize this man. Jake Larkin? Is that his name? Yes, he was convicted of murder on the strength of that sketch. Convicted of murder? Isn't this man a deputy sheriff? I should say not. He's in Harper City by this time. He's to hang. Dan, what... Hutto, look here. Uh -huh. Look at this picture. You recognize the man? Yes. That's the man we saw in the past. Ah, that's right. Him fellow with lawman badge. He's no lawman. There were lawmen with him, Both but... Both of the men with him were dead. <gasps> then he's at large. He tricked us. Convicted murder, and we didn't know it. Oh, he'll kill me. You? He was convicted because of that sketch. He swore he'd kill me. He won't. But he'll go to our farm. And my mother's there alone. He'll kill her. But he might be there right now. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger found Sally Martin sketching the landslide where it blocked the trail on Summit Mountain and learned about Jake Martin. While Tonto hitched the team to Sally's wagon, Dan Reed brought up the masked man's horse. Where's your farm, Miss Martin? In the valley. It's off by itself. There are lots of cottonwood trees between the trail and the farm. Jake Larkin could kill Mother and no one would be near enough How can I find the farm? There's a rock next to the trail, a big whitewashed rock with our name on it. I'll go ahead of you. Dan, you and Tonto stay close to the wagon. Ready, Silver, easy. Uh, team be ready plenty soon now. Big fella. I'll see you later. Come on, Silver. Oh, what a wonderful horse. You bet. They don't come any finer than Silver. Larkin, is that our farm? Then Don't worry, Miss Sally. Our friend will take care of things. He, he's an outlaw? Not on your life. A team all hitched now. Dan, you, you ride in wagon. All right, Tonto. But what about my horse? Oh, me follow. Me lead, Victor. All right. <laughs> You take the reins, Dan. All right, Miss Sally. Just a minute, I'll put these pictures on the floor. The law might need that one of the killer. They can use it the same as they did last time. There. You ready? Yes, Tonto. Get, get up. up. Come on, get up. Get up. Darkness gathered while Dan drove the team into the valley. In the dim light of a waning moon, he saw a huge whitewashed boulder near the trail next to a clump of cottonwoods. Now you can see the rock. There's a road just beyond it. All right, Miss Sally. Turn to the left and go through the woods to our house. It sure is a deserted section. I do hope we're not too late. If there's a horseman coming toward us. Yes. It might be Jake Larkin. Not unless he's found a white horse. Whoa, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa. That's our friend. But he's coming from town. I, I thought he went to Mother's house. Oh, 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 oh. Easy. Did you have any trouble on the trip, Dan? No, sir. But we had to take it easy with the wagon. It was dark. What about my mother? Your mother's all right. Oh, thank goodness. I, uh, I had a little trouble convincing her that I wasn't more dangerous than Jake Larkin. The mask? Yes. I want to go to Mother. Well, in a moment. She's in the house with a shotgun on her knees. Hired man is with her. They're, well, they're watching for Larkin. Oh. I rode into town to report to the sheriff, and he's forming a posse. He'll come here and send men out to search every trail out of this valley. Why can't we drive back to the house? Uh, Miss Sally, I thought I saw a horseman turn into this woods as I turned into the valley. You mean on your way back from town? Yes, but I was too far away to be sure. Then you stay with Miss Sally in the wagon. Tonto and I'll make sure Larkin isn't hiding in the woods. Whatever you say, sir. Me tie Victor to tree. All right, Tonto. Then, here's a gun. If you see anyone, signal with a shot. Right. Let's go, Tonto. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come. Minutes dragged as Dan and Sally waited in the wagon for the masked man's return. Sheriff's posse should be coming along pretty soon now. Uh huh. Don't worry about your mother, Miss Sally. I, I just can't help worrying about her, Dan. But my friend told you she was all right. But Jake Larkin is clever, and, and he's determined to get even with me. If he shows himself, he's a gone goose. He may slip away and come back some other time. He can't get out of this valley. If he's here now, he's trapped. He can get out, Dan. There are a dozen trails out of here. He... Dan. That's Victor. Your horse, are you sure? Sure, I know. He's winning. I wonder what can be the matter. I'll go over and see what's wrong with him. Maybe he's tangled up or something. Wait a minute, Dan. Be careful where you step. My sketches are on the floor of the wagon. I know. I'll step over. Uh. Take it easy, Victor. I'm coming. No, you ain't. Oh, what? Oh. Now, this is a gun. What? Jake Larkin. You mean try to shove it through my ribs. Quiet, both of you. So you Shut fight. up. I'll take that gun from your belt. Larkin, you won't get away with this. The law knows you're in the valley. I save it. I won't be long in the valley. I'm leaving with you, if you're quiet. Make a noise and I'll drill you and leave alone. Now get aboard, kid. You'll do the driving for me. If you think You I... heard me. All right. You, you better do as he says, Dan. Now hurry it up. 
Hey, what are you doing there? I'm just getting some stuff off the floor. Step up. All right, I am. Don't poke me. There'll be room for three of us up in this seat. Larkin, if you'll just let Dan stay here. Quiet. Take up the reins, kid. Get going. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. My friends will be after us before we've got a mile. Yeah? Well, don't count on them. You see, kid, I knew you had friends here. I was behind the white rock when you rode up. Then you heard me. I heard your friends say they'd scour the woods for me. Then I took steps to make sure they wouldn't follow us. Now step up the gate and get me out of this valley by the shortest route. Get up. Come on, get up, get up. Otto, the wagon's gone. Uh-huh. We were right when we thought we heard it. Victor's still tied to tree. Yes, I see. He uh, cannot fire a gun. He may not have had a chance. Uh, man, he strike light. Look for footprint on ground. Right. I think you might find... Otto, look here. Oh, what you find? Something fastened to Victor's saddle paper. We make light. It may be note. Yes, it is a note. Uh, here, pull the match closer. Uh, it, it from Dan? No. Signed, Jake Larkin. Larkin? Oh, that bad. Yes. At the first sign of pursuit, he'll kill Sally Martin and Dan. Him know if we ride after him. And he'll do just what he threatens. Human lives mean nothing to Larkin. We not even know which trail him takes. Oh, wait, wait, Otto. Something on the ground where the wagon stood. Maybe Dan leave clue. Maybe tell which way him yes, go. Yes, he would if he had a chance. Plenty trail lead out of valley. Another match, please, Tonto. Ah, me get it. Uh, them pictures girl make? Yes, track a light. Dan might have written something on them. You, uh, you see anything? No, not yet. Oh, why picture thrown out of wagon? This one is a sketch of Jake Larkin. Dan might have left it to tell who captured him. Ah. This other one is... Just a minute. Uh, what matter? Tato, Dan did leave a message. Come on. Uh, what we do? Hit that saddle and come with me, uh, Stan. Uh, uh, come, Silver. Get him up, Scout. The Lone Ranger led the way without pausing to explain. He guided Silver in a mad dash across the level part of the valley. Then he hit the steep side of Summit Mountain. Come on, Silver. You can make it, big boy. Up you go. There's no path on that side of the mountain. It was too steep, too treacherous for travel. Silver's hooves pawed the ground, clung to impossible terrain, fought for every inch of the way. Stay with us, Tonto. We've got to make it. Come on, Silver. The masked man and his friend caught on all their skill to help the horses up the slope, where a single slip might mean a fall to serious injury or death. Yard by yard, the horses climbed. Meanwhile, Dan guided the Martin team along the uphill wagon trail. Just try any tricks and see how fast they'll shoot. Gunfire won't be heard now, kid. I wouldn't mind getting rid of you. Larkin, Dan hasn't done anything to you. Why don't you let him go? Never mind me, Miss Sally. Those deputies didn't do anything to me either. But they had to die so as I could escape. You coyote. Call me anything you want. <laughs> I don't mind. You won't get away with it, Miss Sally. I ain't seen any sign of your friends yet, kid. I guess they know better than to try to catch up to us. Even if they did know which trail we used to leave the valley... How far do you expect to go? You just keep driving. I'll tell you when to stop. I said keep driving. How can I look ahead? The trail's blocked. Blocked? The horses are stopping of their own accord. Oh, Volda. Oh. Look, looks like there's been another landslide. Kid, did you know about this? Is this why you took this way out of the valley? You're out of the valley, isn't that what you wanted? I aim to go a lot farther than this. Not unless you can move those rocks. I don't figure to go in the wagon, kid. I'll have to take one of the horses and leave the wagon. And both of you. You won't find them good saddle horses. I'll make one of them do. Kid, if you brought me here knowing the trail was blocked, you made a fool move. You just the same as signed your own death warrant. You... You planned to kill us no matter what we did. Maybe not. I had ideas of keeping one or both of you with me. A sort of hostages in case the law came close. But now... I'd sooner stay here. Dead? Yes. You sure will get what you want. Now sit still till I get down. Don't try a fast move. There's light enough to see what to do. I'm not. 
Now, kid, climb down and unhitch the horses. Come on, be quick about it. If you want a horse, unhitch it yourself. Oh, so that's the way it is, is it? Yeah. You're going to shoot us anyway. You might as well do it now. All right. If that's how you want... Hey, Roger. Maybe that's another landslide start. Hold it, kid. You lose rocks disturbed by a coyote won't give you a chance to jump me. Oh, Dan. This is it, kid. I'm sorry, but I... Oh, oh, down, 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 down to the fort. I'll get you. i get another gun. Come on, fellow. Oh, oh, that did it. That got him. You. Dan, Sally, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes. You bet we are. Come on, Sally. Bring the horses, Toto. Uh, me come. You... You ain't the law. We'll do, Larkin, until the law takes charge. Hello, see to his shoulder. He's supposed to hang, but we don't want him to cheat the law. Ah, well, him live long enough to hang. Golly, I didn't know whether you'd get here or not. You left the sketch of the landslide for me, Dan. You understood that I'd come this way? Yes. See, Sally, he doesn't miss a thing. I was sure he'd find some way to get here before Jake Larkin killed us. I... I can't express my... my gratitude. Oh, please don't try Stay here, Tonto. I'll ride back and tell the sheriff where to find his prisoner. Ah, uh, me wait. Dan, can't the Indian go back and and leave that masked man here? I'll not be long, Tonto. No hurry. Come on, boy. If I could just see what he looks like without a mask. Golly, Miss Sally. The Lone Ranger always wears a mask. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.